What's good everybody? It's your boy Johnny back with another video. Today is a Michael Jackson video and today I will be showing my Michael Jackson affiliated artist vinyl collection, which is mostly his family. Um, so I have just a few 45s and I have a little bit of vinyl with the Jackson 5, the Jacksons, and his brothers and sisters. A little bit of each. Um, I was going to show my CD collection, but I really don't have a lot of CDs of them, like his family or anything. I really all I have is I know I have the greatest hits of Jackson 5 and the Jacksons. And I think I have the greatest hits for Janet, and that's really it. Um, I would like to get more of those CDs. They're pretty common, so... I can really get them whenever. So let me just get started showing my vinyl. I have three 45s. I'm just going to go ahead and show these first. All three of them are the Jackson 5 on Motown. It's like some of their first singles, actually. And they're in beautiful shape if I took them out and showed you them. But I'm not going to do that. Just save time. Here is the single, I Want You Back. These are in beautiful shape. I got these sometime last year. Um, this guy had thousands and thousands of 45s in beautiful shape. And... I got these from him. They're just beautiful. So I would like to get this stuff. At one point, here's ABC. At one point I debated on uh, collecting the Jackson 5. It's I thought they'd be hard to find. And little by little I found their albums and then I sold them off. And they were in beautiful shape. I do have one Jackson 5 album. Um, and here is the Love You Save. Um, I, I kind of wish I didn't because if I didn't get rid of those other albums, I would have probably had almost all of them. Maybe just missing a couple, if I can remember the ones that I had. But anyway, so that's my 45s. It's of ABC, I Want You Back, and Love You Save. There you go. All right, so now let's get started with the vinyl. And this is the album that sparked me from maybe trying to collect the Jackson 5 again. I had beautiful albums. Kick myself in the butt now for getting rid of them. But I found this. It still has a shrink on it. It's their debut album. Um, Diana Ross presents the Jackson 5. And it's an original in beautiful shape. Still has the original inner sleeve. Good stuff. So, this is the only Jackson 5 album I have. Alright, so now, you know, after Motown, they left, they left uh, Motown and they went to Epic Records as the Jacksons. But they left Jermaine behind. Jermaine stayed with uh, Motown. I think at that time he was involved with... Um, Barry Gordy's daughter. So yeah. I don't know if he still is or not. I don't know about all that stuff. So anyways, here is their debut called Simply the Jacksons. This is another one in beautiful shape. This is a gatefold record. And this is the original. The original uh, label looks like this. Um, I recently learned that in the past few years of Epic at this time. So this shows that it's an original. If it's a black label, it's a later pressing. So here's the Jacksons. All right, here's a promo version I got from one of my subscribers and a good friend of mine um, on here. This is a promo version of the Jacksons Going Places. So, it's just a plain white sleeve. It says, to, uh, demonstration not for sale. White label. So, pretty cool. There we go. Hope the setting... Uh, is good for you guys and the lighting and everything. Let me all know in the comments. All right, next is uh, the regular version of Going Places, but this is actually a repress, like I mentioned before about the label. Um, so here's a repress. This one's still in the shrink. As you can see, it says a nice price on it. So this is a repress, probably from the late 70s or sometime in the 80s. And there's the back. So, Jackson's Going Places. All right, next is Destiny. This is a this is one of my favorite of the Jacksons. This one, Destiny, has a lot of good hits on here. Blame it on the boogie and others. So, original pressing, good stuff. So in between that time, Michael went solo, fully solo. Um, with Epic Records and came out off the wall and they went on tour together. But, so during that time, they also did this album together. The Jackson's Triumph album. Good album also. Maybe I shouldn't have left that light on back there. Kind of a distraction. So, 
Good, good shape, good shape. Let me see if I can move over. Block that light. Yeah, there we go. I think I can do that. So, the Jacksons. All right, so in between you're gonna see 12 inch singles and this is one 12 inch single. This is of the single walk right now. Looks like it was like in a DJ's collection. And the instrumentals on the other side. So, there you go. All right, next is from the Triumph Tour. They recorded some live stuff. So here is the Jacksons Live. And you know what? You know, I always, you know, whine and complain about not, they're not bringing anything out of the vault of Michael. You know, this year was the 10th anniversary of his death and they didn't really do anything special like that. So, it's kind of irritating. Um, I see, always seen a lot of clips from this concert. I wonder if it's like, what if one day, hopefully one day they'll release a show from the Triumph Tour or from the Victory Tour. Something, man. They gotta give us something. Uh, it's driving me crazy. All right. Next is a 12-inch single from the live album. This is a promo one. Live versions of Things I Do For You. Okay. And Working Day and Night, a uh, single from Off the Wall. So, pretty cool. All right, next is the Victory album from these guys. Uh, there we go. And then I had the 12 inch single and the shrink of State of Shock. Really, is just Michael Jackson and Mick Jagger. Pretty cool. Simple, cool little song. All right. So I don't have the picture disc of Victory, and I do not have the Jackson's last album. I think in '89 it was. Um, I don't have that. I find it, but I never find it in good shape. Actually, it's a pretty hard album to find. All right, so now we're gonna get to the brothers and sisters. So first, the ladies first, and we have some of Janet. Um, this is Janet's debut album. A lot of people, if you're not a big Janet fan, a lot of people think that Control's their first album, but it's not. She had two albums before that. Um, so this is Janet Jackson, Dream Street. I had to look at the spine because I forgot the title of it. Because you forget that she had two albums before Control was. Control just outshines everything, and she was still part of the same label. Did not really hits hits <laughs> on these those two albums are really included in any greatest hits package. So, and they're actually very hard to find on CD. And I think I have this next album on CD. So I just thought of that. I do have one of her albums on CD, and it's this. Um, just self titled Janet Jackson. Is it self titled? Yes. <laughs> uh, so Janet Jackson. And these are good little pop records. They weren't amazing, but. They're okay. Um, but this album made everybody forget about the two albums, and it's this Control. So, there we go. The Smash. All right, so you're probably wondering why. Oh, wait, never mind. I was about to say something else, but forget it. I have a couple 12 inch singles. <laughs> this is of Nasty, it has different mixes on it. Janet's fairly easy to find. I'm going to start picking up her stuff. I have some of the uh, main albums on vinyl. And here is The Pleasure Principle. This is a good album. Or single. 12 and single of uh, The Pleasure Principle. So, there you go. All right, this is actually my favorite Janet album, and it is Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation 1814. Um, this is the original pressing. I know recently they came out with this on vinyl again and some of her other ones, especially when since uh, earlier this year she went into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which was awesome. Congrats to her. Really cool. I would like to get the repress, actually. It's on two um, LPs, not one. So I would like to get it, but this is my favorite one. And I think this is really her last album initially on vinyl, like originally. Maybe in other countries they had her other ones, but excuse me, I don't think here in the U.S. they did. Um, pretty sure. But 
Here's Rhythm Nation 1814. And now you're probably wondering why I have a Herb Albert album in here. Well, because Herb Albert did, and I think it appeared on that 1814 uh, Rhythm Nation, um, a song called Diamonds with her. So this is Herb Albert's album called Keep Your Eye on Me. So it's in the shrink with the hype sticker. So, see? Featuring Janet Jackson. All right. Next, I have a couple of things from Sister. Actually, one sister that a lot of people forget about is Rebby Jackson. This is uh, one off her first album. I think it was called Centipede. No. Reaction, I'm sorry. And this is a 12-inch single to Reaction. In the shrink. So. Honestly, I never really listened to her stuff before. So I couldn't tell you how her stuff sounds. You guys can let me know if you have. So. There you go. You know, all the Jacksons tried music. Obviously. Alright, and this is actually an album called Are You Tough Enough? This one came out, I think, in like 89. 88. So, and I think this is really her last studio album. I think she came out one after Michael passed away. I think. Um, but I'm not really 100% positive. So, there you go. And here now is Sister LaToya. So, we have this. And I think it's just called LaToya Jackson. I think this is her debut. So, on Polydor. She was on the Polydor label. There you go. She was beautiful. I mean, why'd she have to mess with her face? Anyways, okay. We're almost done here. Only got a couple more albums to do. And here's another one from her called Heart Don't Lie. And this album, there you go, is in the shrink still. Beautiful shape. And this actually contains a cover. She covered one of the Prince's songs from the Controversy album, Private Joy. It's called Private Joy. Good song. Um, it wasn't a hit on Prince's album, Controversy. So, LaToya. And I think I have a 45 of hers for sale. And I think it's of Heart Don't Lie. Pretty sure. Okay, two more albums left. This is actually not easy to find. It's not like it's worth a lot of money. And same with the next one. Um, this is of a brother, Jackie Jackson. He had an album before this in the 70s when he was on Motown. I can't, And I seen it before and I passed it up. Wish I didn't. Because it's very hard to find actually. But this is Jackie Jackson. Jackie Jackson, holy crap. Be the one. And I think this came out in the late 80s. Yep, this came out in 89, and I think this was his last album. So I think he only had two solo albums to his name. Um, there you go. So, still in the shrink. This one i never seen before also, so I bought it. And this is of brother Randy Jackson. Um, it's called Randy and the Gypsies, self-titled. This came out also in 89 on AMM -A -M -M Records. So this is uh, Randy Jackson. Never seen this. I don't. I mean, I assume like Jackie and him didn't sell a lot. I think this is Jackie's own al or uh, Randy's own album. His only album, I think. Not 100% positive. So I don't have anything of Jermaine. I always see his stuff all the time. I pass it up. It's kind of common. So maybe one day I'll get him. If I want to get him, I'll probably get him in the shrink. But um, yeah, but you know what, people? That's it for my uh, Michael Jackson affiliated artists. Really, mainly his family. Um, my vinyl collection of them. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. So see you later and bye